Ohio Crossroads. I'm 25 News Now meteorologist Parker Cox, and it's official. Barrel has officially made landfall in eastern Matagorda Bay. Right now, we're looking at what it looks like right now. It is still surprisingly sitting at a Category 1 hurricane, but I will remind y'all, it is a very, very strong, very high end category one hurricane this right now the observations are still sitting at 80 miles an hour pressure has dropped even more another three millibars since the last time y'all seen me but right now honestly if i had to take a guess right now the wind sustained right along eastern uh eastern matagorda bay is sitting right around 90 to almost 95 miles an hour which is category two strength so please be careful with that your wind gusts are for sure going to be in the category two range so definitely make sure to be careful i, I hope i hope y'all are not driving out on the roads right now this is not a time to be driving, especially if you're anywhere on the eastern side of the crossroads. Western side, y'all are a little bit, y'all are a little right. Y'all see, don't, see not too much rain out there, but you can see, like I was saying, it is officially making landfall right now. I'm gonna zoom in on right where the center is. You can see right now making just just east of Plashes by about maybe right around 10, 15 miles or so. But and right now we're uh, officially on the downhill trend in terms of uh, any kind of like any kind of you know storm uh, effects from this uh, from this hurricane. So from now on, uh, from now on out, all the way until about noon time it's just going to be on the downward trend in terms of strength but right now you can see all these big old uh, bands that are coming right around the uh, hurricane center and that's what we're watching for for any kind of possible tornado development in fact you could actually see just north uh, it's actually i'm going to go back here if you can see just underneath this banner up here uh, i guess right there there was a couple tornado warnings uh just in not in wharton county but in the county just east of that a little bit closer to uh, a little bit closer to houston i don't believe that's harris county but it's the county just uh, southwest of that, uh, a little bit closer to you know Sugarland and Katy up there. But like we we're saying, it is just now making landfall. We're talking maybe five minutes ago, or maybe just right now is making landfall. But look at our winds. Uh, I want to remind y'all that this radar is looking at about probably about five, uh, a few miles high in the atmosphere. But look how strong these winds are uh, right here at this height. It is still right now. Um, sustained winds with, at, like I said about this height, right now between 100 and 110 miles an hour. So at the ground, like I said, it could be it could be a very very weak, very low end, like just the very very beginning of stage of a Category Two hurricane. But otherwise, if it is Category Two, it is going to quickly die right back down to Category One and then back to tropical storm status as we go into this afternoon. We're going to look at that now. You can see this is 4 a.m. right now, going into 5 a.m. If you're going to tune in with me at sunrise, we're going to keep on watching. We're going to keep track. Keep keep track of barrel as we go into sunrise from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. and then go into the later morning hours. Here's 9 a.m. You can see it's already over there in Wharton County passing El Campo. There's the eye you can see passing right over El Campo. So plenty of strong winds around that. Uh, otherwise, you can see still plenty of rain and still a chance for any possible uh, water spouts that might come on land and maybe even a couple very, very weak, very quick spin up tornadoes as we go into the later morning hours and into the very early afternoon. You can see here by this is noon time going into the afternoon hours. It's already out of our, uh, our, our neck of the woods and going northeast into East Texas. And actually, you can see here the sun's going to actually come out going into the late afternoon and early evening and not really thinking we're going to have any much too much in terms of rain overnight, but then going into tomorrow right around noontime in the afternoon, we might get the leftover remnants of that last band that kind of traveled far south going into tomorrow afternoon. You can see a couple isolated thunderstorms. I don't think there's going to be any severe weather tomorrow. That's the good news. Maybe just a couple more showers to add to what we already have coming our way for today. Looking again at Barrel, you can see the track that is going to head, like I was just saying, going a little bit north northeast into eastern Texas by, and actually right here just underneath the banner, you can see there is a tropical storm logo. That's because it is going to decrease to tropical storm status by, I'm thinking honestly by uh, early this afternoon, sometime right around 2, 3 p.m. as it goes past, uh, past Wharton County, might finally officially be a tropical storm uh, sharp cold storm barrel. But otherwise, looking here in Victoria, it's not super windy right now. It's a, not a terrible time if you're trying to get out, uh, like maybe go a little bit west or something like that. Uh, don't go east because you just saw there on the radar. That's where the hurricane is. But right now, the winds are sustained right at about 22 miles an hour, but gusting at about 35 to 40 miles an hour. It's because we are still on the outer band of this hurricane. I need to remind you there. You can see as we go into the next couple hours, you can see that here's that. There's the low center starting to make landfall. Uh, already has made landfall. Uh, just northeast of Plash is going uh, up into Wharton County and then make it, it's making its exit and going out of the crossroads going into the afternoon. Here's 1 p.m. and later this afternoon it's going to really start dying down in terms of the winds. This is 4 p.m. and by tonight 
it should be pretty calm out there. So it's going to be like a, the good news for us is this, this isn't going to be anything like Hurricane Harvey. Like I was saying, it's not going to be, it's not a category four. It's not going to drop five feet of rain in Houston like it did with Hurricane Harvey in 2017. If anything, we're going to get some storm surge between four to six feet, some strong winds going to be gusting up to about, um, especially along the immediate coast. Y'all could be seeing gusts up to right around, uh, I believe it was like 100 miles an hour. So please be careful with that. Uh, that would be category two strength. Uh, hurricane winds, but that's going to be gust. That's why we do have hurricane warnings. That's all these red, uh, the red warnings here. That's the hurricane warnings, but the blue warnings, that's going to be tropical storm warnings where you're still expected to see a receive tropical storm force winds and even some other conditions, including just a little bit of storm surge and also maybe a couple isolated spotty water spouts or tornadoes. And that's why there is a tornado watch. Like I was saying for all these red counties that you can see here, that includes, um, includes Matagorda, Matagorda County, including, um, Missouri County all the way out here, even closer to Galveston as well. Uh, so that's, that's going to be really uh, in relation to any of the outer bands that will kind of spiral up on shore. And that's going to be there could be a little bit of spin in that as well. But otherwise, there's also a flash flood warning. You did see it on the radar earlier. That's because the rain rate uh, with the, some of the heavy rain that's over there are reaching two to three, maybe even four inches per hour with some of these heavier showers. But otherwise, you can see, like I said, all the red uh, red counties are for the tornado watch areas. But otherwise, west of Matagorda Bay, I'm thinking y'all are going to see, or I should say southwest of Matagorda Bay, y'all could see storm surge between one to three feet anywhere east. And including Matagorda Bay, y'all could see storm surge between four to six feet. So like I said, it's not like Harvey where we saw like more than uh, more than 10 feet of storm surge. It was an unbelievable day, if y'all remember Harvey. But like I said, also not like Harvey is the rain. We're not going to get five feet of rain. We're not even going to get a foot of rain, I don't think. Maybe along the immediate coast, y'all, some very spotty areas might see a foot of rain. But here's your rainfall totals going into later this afternoon. And this is adding on to what we've already received. And looking at what we've already received, and all the rain is really concentrated over there near, uh, looks like Matagorda County, and even over in Brazoria County as well, where it looks like they've seen up to six some areas are a little bit yellow. That's going to be seven plus inches of rain. So adding that on top of the, we just saw there about two and a half, maybe even three inches into Wharton as well. But we're going to keep on keeping y'all updated, folks. Make sure y'all y'all uh, make sure y'all completely safe. And if uh, there are any tornado warnings that come up on the coast, I'm going to I do a real quick cut in for that. Make sure y'all are all safe and ready to go. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to keep doing uh, we're going to keep on doing updates here every, uh, every hour or so, but definitely tune in with Sunrise. It's going to be starting at 5 a.m. That's going to run all the way until 7 a.m. And we're going to keep on watching Barrel even after Sunrise because, like I said, it's still going to be up here somewhere right around Warren County as we go into the later morning hours and even right around noontime. But otherwise, stay safe, Crossroaders, and please stay weather aware.